How to perform master reset on Galaxy Note 5 There's a little distinction between a factory reset and master reset, although the results may be the same. The latter, aside from doing what the former can do, will reformat the data partition where all system files and important app files are saved. It will also come in handy if the Android system itself keeps crashing and the user can't access settings. Turn off your Samsung Galaxy Note 5 completely. Press and hold the volume up and the home buttons first, and then press and hold the power key. Keep the three buttons pressed and when Samsung Galaxy Note 5 shows, release the power key but continue holding the other two. Once the Android logo shows, release both the volume up and home buttons. The notice installing system update will show on the screen for 30 to 60 seconds before the Android system recovery screen is shown with its options. Use the volume down key to highlight the option yes, delete all user data and press the power key to select it. When the process is complete, Use the volume down key to highlight the option Reboot System Now and hit the power key to restart the phone. The reboot may take a little longer to complete but don't worry and wait for the device to become active. Factory reset is easier to perform than this so you can use the previous procedure as long as there are no other serious issues with your phone. If you have one of the following, you better use master reset if your phone reboots randomly. It's freezing from time to time. It's lagging so much. It takes ages to load apps. The settings app crashes as characterized by error. Unfortunately, settings has stopped. The system itself crashes, often characterized by the error. Unfortunately, Android system has stopped. It can't boot up successfully or got stuck in the logo, etc. Thanks a lot for watching. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more tips and tricks.